So about a year ago, I was in Lowe's and I saw this Krylon product with the Christmas stuff that basically looks like it's a fake snow spray uh, that you can do as I aspire to eventually have a winter scene layout for my O-scale trains. I was wondering if maybe it would create kind of a, a lightly snowed appearance, probably not heavy snow like on the uh, um, Polar Express car you see over there, but maybe a light dusting and frosting and possibly stick in some areas where bits of snow might stick into after it had been, uh, you know, despite the, the winds of running down the track on rolling stock or possibly scenery as well. Uh, when Menards first came out with their box cars, I got a 12-pack of the Generation 1 New York Central. And since I'm not really into non-scale O as much, I figured I may use these kind of as for weathering tests and other such things. So I figured I'd probably get one of these out. They're a little bit too dark for that uh, century green on the New York Central anyway. Maybe use it as a test uh, run for this. So here's one of the cars. Uh, as you can see, like I said, it's a little darker green than ideal for this uh, paint scheme, but uh, good enough. I think they were like 12 or 15 bucks each or something. I guess it says it was 2015, hard to believe 17 year, or seven years ago already, but uh, I was never a big fan of the build by Menards anyway on it. Um, but yeah, I think I might kind of spray from the top onto here and see uh, what we can get it to look like. Probably have to do several coats. Uh, very kind of cheap cars, but decent weight. Uh, they don't really have a, uh, a release other than the magnetic thing on the bottom, so it's tough to uncouple when they're on the track if you don't have an uncoupling track. But, you know, metal trucks and wheels, or at least metal, metal wheels of truck, I think is plastic. And it's got a little bit of heft to it. Not a bad car, but certainly expendable for testing on rather than risking messing up my nicer rolling stock for such a purpose. So we'll see. So the can says to shake for one to two minutes. So I've shaken for one to two minutes. Uh, it says to use in a well-ventilated space, which probably isn't the basement, but if I could survive the 80s, I suppose I could survive this. So I'm just going to start spraying uh, over top a little bit. Lightly. That's a little bit heavier than I thought it might be. And let's see. Check the other side. The ends a little bit. Well, let's see how it did. Uh, maybe we'll see. Uh, it might actually do better on landscaping, you know, scenery uh, than a car. But we'll let it dry and see what it looks like. But I'm not sure, not exactly what I was thinking, but I don't know. I mean, that definitely does look more like uh, maybe if you held it four or five feet up ago of your scenery. Uh, and, and, and sprayed it. It's a little bit chunkier than I thought it was going to be looking at the uh, image on the can and the display. I thought it was going to be more of like a more even misty type and not quite as chunky. But um, that's what it looks like for now. We'll see how it dries. So here we are 24 hours later after spring. Uh, looks about the same as it did. Didn't really fall down or settle. There's a little bit of a 3D texture to it still. Um, it does kind of wipe off the sides, uh, so I'm not sure how effective that would be. Should I put some sort of dull coat or something over it to seal? I don't know. Um, so that may not make it that great for uh, this type of thing if it doesn't stay on permanently. Um, it doesn't look Bad. I would probably mask off the sides of the car if you're going to do it, maybe do heavier on top. But if you're going for scale realism like I am, I really don't think this is a great option. Uh, maybe something like uh, more of traditional Lionel Christmassy stuff. That might kind of look better for that. But 
but it doesn't stay on. I think I just kind of wipe it off with my finger. Ah, it's maybe a little bit more rugged. Nah, not, not that much. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there's a way to prep the surface or not, but uh, probably not an effective thing as far as it's sticking like that. You could probably wipe the worst of it clean, um, which I might do with the sides of it, I don't know, but not exactly what I was expecting. Um, looking at the bottom, not sure how easy the white on white is. That doesn't stick either. So that may be useful again for landscaping if you're covering some existing uh, ground cover or whatnot with snow, maybe, but uh, yeah, maybe to figure out what it sticks to. I like guess straight plastic, probably not so much. Um, but there it is. That was the test, and that does it from here. So, kind of a fail, but, oh well, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.